this country is made for cows. You couldn't do anything else down in here. Cows are kind of our way of life. These hills, this is what they're made for. These cattle need to graze here. We're losing a lot of grazing land to cedar trees. Back in 2012, 30% of Gregory County was covered in cedar trees. A few years ago, you could run 10 cows in an area where now you can only run three. So that's how much we've lost in the last few years. We started thinking about putting a burn association together to get rid of cedar trees. We started the tree shearing a little bit, working with NRCS to cut and um, stuff trees down in the canyons. But and try to reclaim some of our grazing land. We started with uh, a few small controlled burns several years ago. We did a couple of, I would call them experimental burns. We got what, what we call a prescription and you gotta kind of follow that pretty much to the letter. We contact neighbors, fire departments. The, the last burn we did, we had 25 people here. We had grass rigs, uh, UTVs, ATVs, and igniters, and you gotta kind of train them and watch them as you go, you know? Nobody really cares to write a, a burn plan, but a burn plan is required, especially in our new association, the Mid-Missouri River Prescribed Burn Association. We are members of that. We helped start that about uh, a little over a year ago, and it is the first burn association in South Dakota. The key is to be safe and to follow prescription. You just don't go out and light a fire. There's a lot of planning that goes along with it. This was one of our most successful burn areas, yeah. wasn't it? This draw here, we used to gather cattle up out of here. We would gather them coming around and they would come up into these areas and you had to get down on your hands and knees to bring cattle out of here. And you never did get them all anyway. As you can see, we cleaned up a lot of country here. Now we've got grasses that are, are working its way under where we sheared them trees and burned them. Uh, now that's filling back in with native grasses and that's kind of what we're after. Today's date is what, the 24th of April, and on April 8th is when we did our burn. And you can see that green growth coming. They said that the Native Americans would burn off the prairie so the buffalo would come back and graze all of that. They just used to burn it off all the time. We've got 40 or 50 years of putting fires out and bringing trees into our area, not knowing that the eastern red cedar probably should be a noxious weed that eastern red cedar is just coming up this river. And we really need to be on top of it and do something before, look at these big trees, you know, before you've got years and years of, of cedar trees that are choking the grasses out. It's expensive to do what we are doing, but we hope for the future that it will pay back. We need to produce more than, than we ever have, you know, to feed the world. If we can increase our stocking rates and take care of our land a little better, I think we're doing our job.